All right, I'm back at you with another e-bike video. I'm finally diving into this Kuberg Freerider, doing a little build on it. In this video, it's gonna be tear down start to finish. Needs quite a bit of work to get it revamped and looking good again. Gotta fix the seat up. Got a bunch of parts coming in for it. It's like the first generation, the first e-bikes that kind of came out that I think started like the Suron wave and the whole e-bike wave which is going on right now. So the whole garage is gonna be full of e-bikes soon. We got the Alta in the background. I'm pumped to hopefully get my Stark Varg by the end of the summer. Maybe try out one of those Kuberg Rangers because that looks like it's the bike to have right now. But if you're new here and you wanna see more e-bike stuff, make sure to subscribe. So let's dive into this thing and start tearing it down. All right, so I'm starting my morning out right here with the fresh iced coffee. Thanks to Cometeer for sponsoring this video. They have a few options to choose from here as far as coffee. I think I'm gonna go with the morning blend. It's these fresh cups of coffee, which have been flash frozen to lock in their freshness, which is a completely new format of coffee. And most importantly, the stuff is delicious. You get monthly shipments delivered directly to your door with customized boxes to your roast preference, whether that be light, medium, or dark, or decaf, of course. And they have new roasts every single month. Since I'm making an iced coffee, I'm gonna defrost this quick in some hot water, or you can normally leave these in the fridge overnight. Let that defrost quickly, get your cup of ice, fill it up with some water. Final step, pour it in, and we can finally enjoy our iced coffee this morning. 
smells so good. Add your milk of choice and stir it up. And as easy as that, you have your iced coffee ready for the day. This is definitely one of the best iced coffees I've made for sure. Tastes good, it's smooth, and you can't go wrong with a good iced coffee in the morning. And at only $1 a cup, you save money without sacrificing the quality of a good iced coffee. Cometeer has their best deal yet, starting right now. Using my code TYLER50, you can get 50% off. So go check them out using my link down below in the description and using my discount code at checkout. And once again, thank you to Cometeer for sponsoring this video. So finally, a few weeks later, we got the parts back from Powder, thanks to Upstate Coatings. If you wanna check them out, I'll leave him linked below for all your powder coatings and Cerakoting needs. Color came out sweet. It's actually the same color that's on my KX250 outside here. Sold it up the same color to fully match this thing. Identical to that. Got to clean some other stuff up. We got a set of handlebars thanks to Flex Bars, which you'll see once they're on the bike. Flex handlebars right here. They'll also be linked below. Actually got two sets. One set is kind of like a more enduro uh, mountain bike setup, and then the one behind it is another set for my 450L build. Got the box of parts with everything that came off the bike, which is just covered in dust and dirt from sitting for the past like month. Guess I'll get to it and start putting this thing back together.
And like that, after weeks of working on this thing, waiting for powder coat, finally got this thing finished up. If you guys want to see the first ride, make sure you're subscribed on this new Kuberga Free Rider. It's definitely not perfect, but it's way better than what it was when I picked it up. The only thing I'm kind of contemplating right now is these flex bars. So I'm going back and forth if I want to just run the normal mountain bike bar or keep this bar on here. The only reason I would take this off would be to put it on my Suron and then swap the bars out. We're dual wheeled right now with the headlights to Magic Shine. They're RN3000. This is like the best light you could have on your e-bike. Comes on and off super easy. Clicks back in and you're ready to go. Gonna have to get another one of these mounted on the Cooper. Everything pretty much went together smoothly. I haven't tried to fire it up. I got all the electronics done right. Good thing I took pictures because it was a little bit confusing. This little magnet key, this is the on off switch. Just clips on here. Uh, we're good to go. The only thing to do is go test this thing out. I didn't even ride it when I first picked it up. So I'm going to get out there this afternoon, test this thing out, compare it to the Suron. But we'll see how long I have this thing. The goal is I'm trying to find a Kuberg Ranger, which is like their scooter bike. Kind of the better version of the Kuberg is what everybody says. And it's the higher power. This is the 8 kilowatt. Get like the 14 kilowatt, which would pretty much be Suron a little bit faster than a stock Suron, like torque wise and top speed. Top speed on a Suron is like 45. The 14 kilowatt version does about 55, and I'll be able to test all the top e-bikes on the market right now, or the only legit e-bikes on the market would be the Suron and the Kubergs. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think of this thing. It's supposed to be like one of the best e-bikes on the market. I've wanted one of these things since like 2015, 2016, when they first came out. I saw them online, and I've been looking at them ever since, way before the Suron was even a thought, a thing. Like I said, Flex Bars hooked it up for the build. If you want to check them out, it's linked below. See, what this is, is they have these bushings on the side, and it offers some flex in the handlebars. You're not beating yourself up as much when you're hitting jumps on this thing. And the other set I have for the 450L should take some of that vibration out. Otherwise, this thing vibrates so much, my hands go numb. I'm just more pumped to be able to ride with my friends on the e-bikes. That's why I picked up another one, so I can ride with more people. I think the more people you have, the more fun it is. Now more of my friends can have fun with me ripping around on these things.